In this video, we are going to walk through the process of exporting textures. Now I'm going to pick up where I left off in the previous video, and I'm going to export the textures for this material. So here in the UI, I'm going to come over to the export option, and here you can see that we have our export queue. Now we haven't exported anything yet, so the queue is empty. So let's go up here to the export current view, and I'm going to click this button to load the settings. Now here, you can see that I have a name, and I'm just going to name this Wood Parquet English, and then I have a destination path. Now, for this example, I'm going to be exporting these textures for use in a Unity HDRP project. So for the destination path, I'm setting this directly to that Unity project directory. Now, I also have an option here to create a subfolder, and I'm going to keep that enabled so we can toggle this on and off. And like I said, I'm going to keep that enabled. Now next, you have your format, and there are several image formats you can choose. You also have this option to do a Substance Archive file. So if I choose this, this is going to create for me an SBSAR Substance Archive file. It's used specifically for applications that support the freely available Substance plugin. Now we do have a plugin for Unity and Unreal, Max, Maya, and so on. However, you'll notice that when you choose SBSAR, the preset options are disabled. Now the reason for that is that the Substance Archive file relies on the plugin architecture to handle any of the conversions or channel packing. So we don't need to rely on any presets here with an alchemist. Like I said, the Substance plugin is going to handle that in its host application itself. But for this demonstration, I want to show you how the presets work. So I'm actually going to choose a PNG file here. Now you'll notice that I do have my presets available, and so if I click this drop-down, there are several renders that we support. So these are a lot of presets that we ship with Substance Alchemist. And like I said, in this case, I want to demonstrate how I would export something for use with the Unity HD Render Pipeline. So I'm going to choose this specific preset here. Now you'll notice that my channels displays the channels that are going to be exported for me. I have base color, normal height. Now emissive is disabled, I don't need that. But I also have this mask map. The HDRP shader in Unity requires this mask map, which is basically an RGBA map with channels packed. And you can see here that this specific Substance Alchemist preset is handling that packing for me automatically. Now, the next thing I can do is I can come over here and just choose my resolution. I'm just going to keep it at this default 2048 by 2048. And now I'm ready to do my export. However, before I jump right into that export, I do want to showcase to you a little bit more information about how we can manage these presets. So for example, if we come over to the Manage Preset option, you can come in here and you can disable any of the renderers that we ship with if you're not going to use them. So that way you don't clutter your preset workflow. You can also import presets, which I'll cover a little later in the video. All right, so let's go back and let's finally do this export. So here I can just click the export option and you can see here that the export queue is now working. Now, if I wanted to, I could come over while that's working and I could hit my export view and I could choose a different preset and do another export. Like I said, we can queue these exports and here we can see this export's ready. So I can click this button here to browse to the destination and I can see sure enough, yes, these textures have been created for me. All right, so now I'm going to jump over to Unity and I'm going to apply these textures to a material in my Unity project. So here we are in Unity and you can see that that subfolder was created for me. Let's dive in and sure enough, we can see our textures here as well. Now I'm going to go through the process of creating material, applying my maps, and then I'm going to apply that material here to my scene. So here I'm creating a material. I'm just going to make sure that each of these maps are interpreted correctly. Then I'm just going to apply the maps to the material inputs. And then finally here you can see that we'll apply the material and then just set the tiling. And there we go. You can see that I've now applied the textures that I created in Substance Alchemist here to a Unity project. And you can see using the preset, Substance Alchemist was able to generate this mass map that I need, specifically when using HDRP shaders here inside of Unity. Now, let's jump back over to Substance Alchemist and let's make a change to this. Maybe I want to use a different pattern. So here, back in Substance Alchemist, I'm going to jump over to my layer stack. Now, I can make a change to my layer stack, or as I showed in the previous video, I did make a few different presets here. But just... For the sake of the demo, let's just jump back over to this parquet pattern, and this time I'm going to switch this here to square basket. 
So now I have a different pattern and let's export this once more. So I'll jump over to my export. Let's export current view. Everything is already set up so I can just hit export and I'm going to replace all these textures. And so here we have a nice little quality of life option where we can say, hey, I'm gonna keep doing this. Please don't remind me about this for the next 30 minutes. So let's do a replace all. And again, you can see the export queue is gonna start uh, kicking along and exporting out these textures. Okay, so that export is done. I'm gonna jump back over to Unity. Here you can see Unity is now re-importing and now I have the change here to my texture. So we have a nice little workflow going back and forth between Substance Alchemist and Unity just by simply using the default export queue. Now, if you're wanting to create your own custom preset, be sure to check the Substance Alchemist documentation. We have a section here on creating and importing custom presets. And the documentation will detail all the steps you need to follow in order to create your preset using Substance Designer. Here I have an example in Substance Designer and you can see this is the Unity HDRP render pipeline for standard. Now, if we take a look here, you can see that I have some channel inputs like base color, rough, metal, and so on. And here are some examples where I'm doing some different types of conversions. Like for example, we have our roughness input. It's running through an invert grayscale node. This is gonna create the, or convert roughness to unity smoothness. And then that is being pulled into this RGBA merge node. So this RGBA merge is being used to actually pack the channels. And you can see the smoothness is indeed being packed into the alpha channel of that RGBA mask map. Here in the green channel, we would have the ambient occlusion. And then the red channel, we would have the metallic information. All of this is then being piped over here to the output for the mask map. So as you can see, using Substance Designer, you can create your own custom presets. And these presets can be shared, and that's really useful in a studio situation. So once you've created this preset, you simply just publish this to a Substance Archive file, and then you can import that Substance Archive file here using Import Presets or from the Manage Preset option here as well. So that's going to close out this video on exporting textures from Substance Alchemist. As I mentioned, you have several options, Substance Archive as well as a bitmap format. When you're using a bitmap, you have access to preset files that will take care of any conversions or channel packing. And you can also manage these presets or import your own presets, which are created through Substance Designer files.